guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I am back with another video. As you guys can see, espero que estén bien. On um, today's video, we're going to be doing a Boxy Charm unboxing. But you guys already know it's December, which means we got our Boxy Looks subscription right here. Last time I wasn't, oh, I almost dropped it. Last time I wasn't really sure if I should recommend it or not. I was kind of like, hmm, hmm. I liked it, but I wasn't sure, sure. So now I feel like with this one, I will know if it's worth the extra $28. You don't get this subscription box every single month i believe you get it every three months or every four months i'm not really sure but i'll have everything you guys need to know about it in the description box below if you guys are interested so yeah guys remember this little box is 28 dollars extra so pretty much we're paying 50 dollars. so we're gonna see if it's actually worth the 50 dollars and see what i end up getting so if you guys are interested in this video then make sure you guys just keep on watching but before I let you guys go, you guys already know what I'm going to say. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so you guys are the first ones to know when I upload a video. I appreciate everybody who has them on. I see you guys. I see who are the first people to watch my videos. And also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Boxy Charms unboxings. So now, without further ado, do, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, guys. So this is what it looks like right here. It is kind of heavy, to be honest. Hopefully, we got good products like last time last time we got some hit and misses i feel like boxy charm is a hit and miss sometimes so this is what it looks like once i open it up you get the pamphlet and i do know this one is themed around like the holiday season but with a twist this one is tis the sea sun boxy look subscription you guys can see right there that this one it's like holiday but in a tropical area which i love you guys already know i'm from puerto rico so this makes me excited even though I live in Texas right now and it's cold, we still love the sun here. So the first thing I'm going to be getting is this little thing right here, which I already know what it is. It's a mini straightener. This is from PYT. It's a mini hair straightener that retails for $75, which is kind of hard to believe. I don't know. This is what it looks like right here. It comes in a really cute packaging. I don't think I could ever straighten my whole hair with this because I have curly hair. But if you already have straight hair or kind of wavy hair, I feel like this is going to be perfect for you. Oh, this is cute. This is perfect for... Oh my god, this is so cute, you guys. This is so little. I should try doing a curl with it right now. Oh my god, this is so cute and little. I really like the color. I feel like this color has been really in right now. Let me plug this in. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and plugged it in. I'm just going to turn it on. This is such a cute little thing. I have seen the tiny makeup go around, and this reminds me just like it. This is so cute. So I'm just going to let it heat up a little bit. And then while we wait for that, um, what else did we get? I can see we got sponge, a sponge shell beyond cleansing body wash infused buffer oh this is nice we shall see how it smells oh wow this smells super tropical i like the shape of it this really goes with the whole vibe of this box the scent oh my god this smells so good i'm excited to try this out this is perfect for traveling as well so now i think my straightener is ready let's see i'm kind of scared to touch it okay it's hot um okay let me remove one of these clips and curl the front piece right here Hopefully it works. We shall see. I'm just gonna flip it around. This is perfect on the go. Oh wow. You definitely get a more defined curl. This is perfect to bring with you pretty much anywhere. Especially if you have curly hair, wavy hair. This is perfect. For that reason, you definitely do get a curl. So yeah guys, this is a pretty cool thing to have. Um, I'm probably going to be taking that with me as well. Again, I wouldn't use it for my whole hair. But for emergencies, you know, it's good to have. Okay, so the next thing I see is pretty clear. We got brushes, you guys. And these are a lot of brushes that we got. So this is from Looksee. This is a complete face set. This is what it looks like right here. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes. So that's what it looks like right here. You get a brow brush, you get a blending brush, a packing brush, a lip brush, foundation brush. Oh wow, you really do get a lot of brushes. So I'm excited to try this out. I don't know if I should try it out or if I should give it away because I have so many brushes. I'm gonna think about that. 
But we got this. I love the packaging. This will be a really good Christmas present. Okay, what else did we get? I'm trying to go fast so this video is not too long in front. Okay, so we also got this Glam AF little thing. Um, I believe this is a portable charger. Yeah, because I saw this in Instagram already. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started by moisturizing my skin. So I'm just going to be using this one. This is the Elemize Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Um, this came with it this year and it's an anti-wrinkle cream for the daytime. So this is clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. This is everything your skincare routine has been missing. So it's never too early to start with this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to apply some of my skin. Little dots like this and blend it out. It feels really nice on the skin, especially on this cheek right here. Since I'm breaking out, yeah, and yeah, this definitely smells like a senora, like a rich senora, you know. All right, so I went ahead and quickly prime my eyes. I used just the Max Up Ochre Paint Pot. So for eyeshadow today, we got the Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is in my holy grail. Oh my god, it's just the popular one. I remember when this eyeshadow palettes were super popular in the makeup industry. I don't know if some of you guys remember, but this used to be like the palette if it's the one I am thinking about. So let me open this up. I hate when it has tape on the sides. It is. Oh my god, I remember I wanted this such a long time ago. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. Beautiful, beautiful tones. I'm sorry, you guys. We're definitely going to have to be playing with the cranberry shades today. I know I always do that, but I just have to. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go with is hashtag. And I'm going in with the JH30 brush. So I'm going to get some in the brush and put this on my crease. And then I'm going to go in with Wine and Dine, which is this really pretty cranberry shade. And I'm just going in with the JH34 brush. Get some there and apply this right here in the outer portions of my eye. All right, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to cut the crease. I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Concealer in Light Neutral. The only reason I'm using the Tarte Shape is because it's the lighter concealer I own. But use whatever light concealer you have and cut your crease. I'm going to go in with, let's see, So Jelly, which is this one right here. I was going to go in with How You Doing, just because it reminds me of Nicole Concealio. But I just decided to go with So Jelly. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished my eyes off of camera and we got a mascara to try out. This is Laura Pro Lash Pomade Mascara, but let's try this one out. Oh, this is what the wand looks like. I usually hate wands that look like this. I prefer the thinner ones, but we can always try this out and see what it does to our lashes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and not use this at all. I don't like it. No me gusta para nada. So I'm always gonna apply lashes either way. So for lashes, I use this one, Style the Body B Lashes in the Style Extra. So I'm just gonna go ahead, apply this lashes off of camera. I'm also gonna finish my foundation, concealer, and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, finish my makeup, and then I will be okay, So I went ahead and contoured my nose and added the lashes. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing we got from our Boxy Look subscription. So it's the Wonder Beauty Wondrous Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. That's what it looks like right here. I know in the regular Boxy subscription, Description box the $21 one um, people got this so I think for this one we got the brushes maybe the sponge um, I get confused with that I know it's like the regular subscription plus a few items so we're gonna use the blush first and I think I'm gonna go with this one let me combine them both huh why not these are really small like packaging to it and then for the highlighter, I'm going in with City Lights. See how they- oh wow, there's like a lot of fallout to them as well. I'm just gonna apply this right here. It's a pretty color. I feel like if you're lighter than me though, this is gonna be a little bit too dark for you. But if you have a tan, this is gonna be really pretty on your skin. Okay, so once we're done with that, I'm gonna move on to the lips. The last thing we have to unbox is this Tarte Tartius Shimmering Lip Paint. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to wear this with a lip product in top, but we're gonna see how it looks like just like that. You guys already know I always have to light my lips. Let's see. What does it smell like? Oh, this smells nasty. I hate the smell of this. I don't know, it smells gross. And then let me apply this. 
Okay guys, that's what it looks like with one layer on. And you can definitely feel the glitter to it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and apply lip liner first. Okay, and then now I'm gonna apply the lip topper and see how it looks like with something on top. All right guys, so we went ahead and used everything in this little boxy, well not even little, in this huge boxy looks unboxing. Honestly you guys, I don't know if this is really worth the extra $28 every few months because, I don't know, I didn't get a bunch of things that I'm obsessed with. The only thing I really liked and I'm excited for is this Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette because it's something I always wanted and forgot I wanted it and now I have it so I'm happy. Um, and this is something that will add value to my collection, not value like oh my got too expensive but just add you know that little touch something i will use and just yeah just in general something i will use this lip gloss keeps getting on my teeth and that's not normal because i use lip gloss all the time and this never happens i hate this lip gloss it smells horrible and it gets on my teeth um the brushes it's something i'm excited for also but since i already have so many brushes i don't need it and i don't want to be selfish and just collect 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 and i give so i'm for sure gonna give you guys that in a future giveaway the other things that are like cute and they're just cute to have is this infused buffer body wash because it's cute for traveling and this mini straightener as well but other than that the other things i just have to keep using i guess like this cream right here for the face i'm gonna keep using it but it's just not something like i'm gonna be using all the time i don't know how to explain it i already know myself and these are just stuff i'm just gonna give away to my mom and my sister so i feel like i'm kind of wasting the 50 dollars because instead i could be saving that and buying something i actually want so that's just how i'm starting to feel with boxycharm in general i feel like it's good to collect i feel like it's good if you're new on makeup or like you don't like to or you want to build up your collection but if you already have a lot of things in your collection i feel like these are things you're gonna use once and forget about it and that's just my honest opinion pretty much boxy sharp is like a hit and miss because like what was it i think it was in october we got this mascara the superhero mascara and i am in love with it and there's other times we get amazing things i just wasn't a huge fan of this box so yeah you guys that's pretty much all i have for this video today let me know in the comments below your opinion if you agree with me disagree let me know in the comments below um that's what we're here for to talk and have beauty talk really positive nothing mean here i'm gonna go ahead and let you all go thank you all so much for taking time of your day to have some beauty talk with me and as always i will see you guys on my next one Mwah. bye guys